welcome back to another freaking video from your girl by the title of the video you already know what's gonna go down what's gonna happen what today's video is gonna be about in today's video your girl's doing another weekly vlog yeah i got a package in the mail so i want to open it on camera with y'all you know i love to open my pr packages on camera so that's what we're gonna do i already know what it is but you know wanted to open it with y'all on here i already opened it <laughs> Look at that, y'all. It's a canopy. So, like I mentioned earlier on in the video, Glad Swing did sponsor today's video, so shout out to them. And they sent me this hammock, like I said, or canopy hammock, whatever you want to call it. But I love it because it's in the cozy circle shape. And this swing is for family use with a medium sized design. Both children and parents can enjoy the fun this disc swing brings. The silk veil provides some shade. And the design of the disc swing is more stable and safer for children to read, play, and sleep than traditional patio hammocks or saucer swings. It is sturdy and durable. It holds up to 500 pounds. The Glad Swing Kids Hammock Swing Chair bottom support part uses a density of 600D high strength Oxford fabric and aluminum alloy steel tube combined with 11 evenly distributed forces of strong rope, allowing the swing to bear a maximum weight of 500 pounds. It is a very simple assembly. You can hang it anywhere you want. They have already tied the rope and fabric together. The only thing that I had to do was to assemble the frame to complete the assembly. It's equipped with a four hole mount, two kinds of tapping screws for concrete and ordinary. You can choose to install the swing set for backyard, ceiling, porch, playground or tree trunks this could also be used for your patio or living room it's a beautiful decoration the swing is absolutely beautiful there wasn't too much to it it didn't take me that long to build it it literally took me like maybe 10 15 minutes but it was super duper easy baby girl loved it i loved it i definitely had fun on it myself but baby girl loved it she was having a blast and then literally like not even 20 minutes on the swing y'all she fell asleep and i'm in love with this swing because every time now that i know that she's tired i'll go outside and we'll just sit on the swing and she'll instantly fall asleep so if you guys are interested i will have the link in the description box below so you guys can go check that out don't you want to dance with me no i could dance like michael jack Jackson. i could get you the pain. It's a thriller in the track, where we from? Baby, don't you wanna dance with me, no I could dance like Michael Jackson I could give you satisfaction And you know we out here every day with it I'ma show you how to get it It go right foot up, left foot slide Left foot up, right foot slide Basically I'm saying either way we about to fly Eventually. What's up, y'all? It's Tuesday, May 9th, 1.37 p.m. Um, I woke up a bit earlier. I'm just now really like getting up whatever. I brush my teeth and all that. I do I do need to do my hair. But I'm trying to get baby girl situated first. She's taking a bath. <laughs> I have no idea why she's sitting like that. <laughs> Today, baby girl has a doctor's appointment, her nine-month checkup. Uh-uh. She's trying to get out to get my camera now. So, she has a doctor's appointment, which I'm really excited about because baby girl has been growing really fast. She has about six teeth now, which is really crazy to me for a nine-month-old. Um, yeah, I don't think she gets any shots today. Hopefully not because she hates shots. Okay, y'all, so I got to talk quick. But, yeah, I just finished with baby girl. She's drinking a bottle now. I didn't even get to do her hair, you guys, because she was being fussy. Because this is like, it's already 2 o'clock, and her appointment's at 2.30. And her clinic is really strict. They be trying to make sure you come, like, 15 minutes earlier. Even though they have, like, a 10-minute grace period, but it's only 10 minutes. You can't go past that. So, I'm just going to do, like, a quick little slick bag. I've been a few hours, but it's my light days. 
Only been days but it feel like months Been gone for a year, only go like once Life move fast and you do what you want I guess I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want One hour later. So we made it, you guys. Hey, Suski. I had to hurry up and take her out the car seat, so y'all. I told y'all they're real strict. So Joanna's gonna come with the stroller. You see mommy with her mask on? She's looking at me like, what is that on your face, mom? What is that on your face? But yeah, y'all, so I'm going to update y'all. Joanna's going to come with the stroller, everything. It's going to be a little thumbnail. It's way better. You can see everything. You don't even have to stretch that far, right? <laughs> You know, she's looking. <laughs> you had a good day? Yes, did you? Y'all, why is she holding on like that? <laughs> like her auntie can't drive. That was a success, Flora. Yeah, that was a successful visit, if I do say so myself, okay? So now it is 447. It's 447. The next day. What's good, y'all? So today is Wednesday. It's the next day. It's 4 p.m. So it's kind of like the middle of the day, really. But you know, we're in the home with my baby daddy, okay? We out here. Um, we're about to go get some food because we're starving. So we ordered some American Deli and they better have my food ready. Oh, bars. <laughs> All my birthday brains like spaghetti. Oh. 
yeah so we're on the way to go get some american deli and then we're gonna go to the gun range so yeah i've never been to the gun range before my boyfriend has been like a million times let me stop talking like that but my boyfriend deadass he's been like a bunch of times like he's like he could really be a gunsmith okay <laughs> If he really wanted to, he could. He could be a lot of things. If he, but like that's one of his hobbies. I would say it's like he has a fascination with guns, and not in like no weird way, you know, like no, more in like a oh, you feel me? Like this is intriguing to me. I like this. Like, you know, it's fun. But not only is it fun, but it's a way to protect yourself. You know, it's good to have knowledge on guns and just proper safe use on them. You feel what? me? Like basically, he's not a hothead. Like you feel me? Like because there would be niggas like. They just ready to crash out or itching to use a gun or, you know, itching to catch a body. No, that's OD. No, 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 no. Yeah, and plus when you're angry, you're mad at the world, you can go out there and get your anger out on the range, you feel yeah, me? You ain't got to go kill off. these niggas and do all this dumb crash out shit. Exactly. Because I feel like there's a lot of opinions on guns and... Honestly, I feel like majority of that, like, there's a lot of negative views on guns, and I feel like a lot of that is because of the misuse of them. Like, a lot of people do not use guns properly, which is why a lot of people are either, A, scared of them, or, like, I've heard some people say, like, oh, I don't ever want guns in my house. Like, I couldn't understand That's that, you crazy. feel me? I couldn't understand it, though, you feel me? When you right have... Through that motherfucker. And yeah, you ain't got nothing but a bat, you're gonna be looking crazy. Yeah, cuz I'm not gonna lie, I feel way 100% safer when I have a gun around. Why? Because you know, certain people in our generation now, in these days and times that we are living in, people will not want to settle no beef fighting, bro. Niggas are pulling out straps faster than they calling their mama out here, bro. Like, dead ass. Like, it's it's really sad. Like, Wait, a lot mom, of niggas, fuck that. yeah, like, in a blink of an eye, for real, like. You know, back in the old days when we was younger, when we was in school and shit, you know, people used to have fights and just laugh about it at school. You know, it's a funny thing. If you took an L, then you took an L. But but nowadays, if you have beef with somebody, if you have a disagreement, you know, people are so ready to pull a gun out on you. And that's why I feel like it's really important to acknowledge yourself and educate yourself on guns really and i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sit here and talk to y'all like i'm old like i'm an expert no i don't know shit about guns for real everything that i know about guns is literally really only because of my boyfriend and i'm actually glad that he has like that hobby because it gives me a sense of comfort a little bit and like safety because i know like he's basically preparing himself because there's nothing wrong with preparing yourself you know because anything anything can happen and you don't want to be stuck in a situation or found and fi find yourself in a situation that you can't get yourself out of you know like it's just certain shit like that i don't know her, little, her cousin in the bathroom yeah yeah i don't know if y'all seen that like video that. yeah that was that was really heartbreaking that was sad that's why it's always important like so when people be like oh i'm scared to have guns in my house with my children and shit like that i could understand that i really can but that's why it's also important to know First of all, to know what type of gun that you're dealing with, you know, how to take it apart, all of that. You have to make sure you put it up, you know, like put it in a safe, put it somewhere where you know your kids will not have access to. That definitely is something like, you know, scary to think of and God forbid anything happens like that to anybody that I know or nothing, you know, like, but yeah, that's just why you have to educate yourself, really. Y'all, so why are we rushing, right? And I forgot to tell this nigga to bring me some ketchup and put some of the seasoning on my fries. Because if you know, then you know that American Deli don't season their fries. They just put them to the side and you do it yourself, basically. Ugh, so I'm just eating these bitches with just ranch, bro. And then my, my burger looks good. I a cheeseburger. But, again, I don't have any ketchup to put on that motherfucker. I'm going to still eat it, though. Okay? And then I got me a grape. Grape lemonade. <laughs> I was about to say grape punch. But I like eating my food later anyway after the rain. Oh, true. True. Maybe I'll save half my burger for when I get home and so I can eat it with too. ketchup. Yeah. You can see it on yourself. Mm hmm. Okay, y'all. So, we out here.
watch it. No black charger on the iPhone is gonna work, bro. It's a white man's phone. Think about it. Yo, I'm about to put my camera in his gun bag because I don't you know if they go no say something. <laughs> Everybody be like Odell. Oh, my mom, my killers don't tell. Shut down my mom, cause I knew you're the shell. Now my kids are feeling the tension Will you be my leading lady? I wanna call you and get my baby. In the meantime, it's sad, Cute for my blog, you guys. <laughs> I got my wings in there for you. 
That was fun. How how would you rate my shooting for my first time? I don't lie, that 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 nigga, you just got it on that pink shit. That was perfect. I was like, shit, you surprised me. <laughs> I surprised you. you I surprised myself. Shot, shit. <laughs> Yeah, hell yeah. I was trying my best to aim, like actually oh try, cause shit, we don't waste money. Oh yeah, I do got the keys. I don't, I don't like wasting my money, okay? And I sure don't like wasting other people's money. So y'all, I'm home. I just reheat my food. Y'all, I had fun at the range. I'm not gonna lie, I was very scared and nervous at first, but Bay definitely made me more comfortable and. You know, a little less nerve-wracking. Like, he definitely made me feel more confident. But yeah, y'all, so I seasoned my fries myself. Uh, How you like it? What you thinking? So don't pick up your face. I'm telling you, you gotta test it out for mommy. Oh, it's recording. We're testing out the food for you. How you like it? Exactly. You like that, mama? Hey, Tawa. Yeah, she like that. Uh -huh. Gotta make sure mommy's stuff not bad. You know what I mean? You can't have none of this one. Happy, happy, son, son. Me. It just Why? looked good. Wow. Mm-hmm. Several days later. Hey, y'all. What's up? I'm about to make like a little late brunch. A really, really late brunch in the back going on. I got the bacon cooking in the oven. So I'm not gonna start on my grits and my eggs yet till I see my bacon's a little crispy. But yeah, I'm about to do the dishes too while I wait because like, if you don't clean while you're cooking, then what are you, who raised you? No, I'm just kidding. I can't say shit like that on YouTube because people get offended too quick. But look at her, she's so nosy. She's like, mama, who you talking to? Who you talking to, mommy? Look how cute she looks in her little teddy bear outfit. I gotta take her nine month photos today, you guys. Oh, look at the baby! Look at the baby! <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna take baby girl's nine month photos today. And today's gonna be pretty much like a chill day. I have to try to build the stroller for one of Zola's grandmas, like for when she takes her out, you know, to the park and shit like that. So. I gotta try to build that. I gotta take Zola's photos today. I gotta edit a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of content today as well. We were also had like plans to go to the gym, but we'll see if we really do it. Cause yesterday I went to the gym. Yesterday was leg day. So today if we do, if we do go, I'm gonna do cardio and abs. So this is me just feeding baby girl cause she was hungry, she was being fussy and I was just getting her ready for her pictures. I already had her outfit. This outfit is actually from this company. It's Mini Ollie or something like that but I'll have the Instagram name on the screen and I also have the links to the outfits in the description box below. She had a bunch of outfits from them that I'll put on the screen and you guys will see one that she had on also later on in this vlog for Mother's Day. But yeah, so she was just drinking her milk or whatever. And while she was doing that, I was just writing down some important stuff that I needed to do and get done for the week. And then it was time for her to take her photo. So I just cleaned the area up, up a bit. And usually for her monthly photos, I take them myself. So what I'll do is, well, now that she's older, it's kind of harder to, for me to take them because she moves so much. It was definitely way easier when she was younger because she would literally just lay there. <laughs> so I just took her little play mat where she literally we'll just lay the mat on the floor so she could crawl and she could play and all that so i laid it on the floor so that way she's not laying just on the carpet you know and it'll be a bit softer for her and then i went ahead and laid the blanket on top of the mat with all of the months on it and yeah she was not having it y'all i barely got any good ones because <laughs> she kept crawling away y'all so yeah i was getting frustrated but if you guys want to see all the photos though there are on my instagram so you guys can go check that out but i mean they came out pretty cute or whatever for me to have taken them myself <laughs>
years later. One week later. I just want to show my vlog. My first Mother's Day gift. So cute over there, fun. She's gonna open it. Yeah. Looks so good, y'all. How do I open it? Another side. Oh my god, look at that strawberry. Mm-hmm. Imagine if it was like gas. Like, if it was an edible, edible for real. <laughs> Imagine. That's all I do in the back over there. Mm, my goodness. Mm. Wow. Damn. <laughs> Period. Mm, mm. Damn, that's a fat ass two cookies. Okay, I'm about to try a strawberry. Mm. Nobody's ever gonna die. Mmm, sounds good and crunchy. One hour later. We at Walmart, y'all. Catch you! Catch you! Catch you! What? What you say? Zola, what you say? Zola, no. Don't kick that. Zola, stop. Hey, y'all. So I'm back at the What's house. Dropping her camera for. Huh? Hi. Running away from me. Hey, that bitch scary. Hi. My Hi. baby got some long hair, right? Who me? My baby. How you doing? Okay, you guys, so if you saw, you guys saw earlier in the vlog, um, I got some edible arrangements for my beautiful mother-in-law. Yes, I feel so special. Okay, y'all, yes. so I'm about to open this. I showed y'all earlier on camera when I was in the car, but my boyfriend just got home, and I was waiting to try the cheesecake with him. So, let's open it. Ooh, that looks so pretty. Oh, my God. Literally, that uh, the the oh, it says happy mother. That's why I didn't get that one earlier. You saw how I avoided it. Mm -hmm. Let me take a picture mm -hmm. of it. Though. These look good. The cookies, right? You want to split one? Mm -hmm. Cool. Should we wait until after we eat those? Shit, I eat. They don't know. I want hey, baby, what you want to taste the uh, the uh? It look yeah. better than this. The cheesecake. Come here. Thanks. You're so shitty. Alright y'all, we had to bring seventy dollars. What the fuck? We had to bring Miss Crybaby over here. Mm -hmm. I got home. <gasps> oh my god, I look like yeah. a catfish. Is it chocolate chip? I'm pretty sure, yeah. Guys, I'm a catfish. I didn't look like this in my last picture. Wait, babe, you gotta eat it on camera. Mm. 
tell them what you think. What's the, what's your thoughts? You like it? It's good. What is that? Cream? Stop it, whipped Zoe. Cream, what is that? Is that this is like whipped cream. Icing? Chocolate chip cookie. Well, that sounds good? sweet. Yeah, it's like right. a sugar cookie. You want a piece of cookie? Mm -hmm. Yeah, break that piece. Break that piece. Break that piece. Wow. <laughs> Take that whole cream. But, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. Mm-mm. Just... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now I'm trying to grab the whole thing. That's some good cookies. I'm about here. That's a good cookie. You don't want it? I'm going to take another half. It is too sweet, though. You got to look at it. Ah, who you talking to? I've been wondering who you talking to. This sweet is fuck. I wonder if this is a chocolate. It feels like a chocolate. Eat it. Eat it? I think it is a chocolate. It's definitely good. White chocolate? Mm-hmm. I don't even know what to say to this man. Huh? When you eat all the chocolate off and just give her the strawberry. No, you can't eat that. Mom, you ready to be on me all night? Yeah. <laughs> she does not care right now, y'all. Nice. Right, so I'm about to. They're really sweet, but they're really good. Um, I'm gonna save some of these for tomorrow for actual Mother's Day curd. Cause you know today is actually Saturday, and I had to go. Well, now it's Sunday cause it's like 12, but. Look at her trying to climb on me and shit. And I also went to Walmart too to grab a few things for baby girl. So I'm gonna just do a quick little haul for you guys real quick cause you know, I know y'all love my hauls. So first things first, how to get her some new scrubby things for her bottles cause I've had this one for like over a month. I'm pretty sure it's been like two months and I hate having them that long. How to get her some new ones of these and then I got her some baby, uh, it says 3 to 24 months baby training toothpaste because she is having a lot of teeth coming out. She has like six teeth. So her doctor recommended that I start using baby toothpaste on her and this is, this is fluoride free. So that's perfect because I'm definitely not for fluoride at all. And then we have... I got some Baby Dove textured hair care, <laughs> a detangler cream for when I'm like doing baby girl hair. Then we got the Aveeno Baby Calming Comfort Lotion. I love Aveeno. It's such a good brand. So we got that. And then we got some Baby Detangler, uh, some more from Shea Moisture, because I wanted to see which brand works best for her hair. And then we got some Aveeno Baby Calming Comfort Bath. Natural oat extract and lavender scent. This one right here. I don't know. I like using like sensitive skin stuff for baby girl because she's, you know, has sensitive skin or whatever. But yeah, then I got me some toenail press on, some French tips. I've never tried them before for my toes. So I'm really excited to try that. Especially since I didn't have any time to do my toes today for tomorrow because tomorrow I want to wear a dress. Um, so I also got me some press-ons for my fingernails because, you know, I haven't had any time to go get my nails done either. So going to do a quick little hack and just do, use these. I'll probably do these tonight, though. And then all the rest of the stuff I got was just like food and stuff. But yeah, so I'll probably get back to y'all when, uh... I come or when I'm done cooking or, or when I'm actually doing something with my toes or something. I also got her two of these. This is the strawberry apple and yogurt. I love the beech nut brand or the organics brand from Target, but I got this one from Food Line. They didn't have the organics brand, so had to get that one. Then I got her some little crunchies veggie dips and the ranch flavor because she loves these. She loves these, but. She usually eats like garden tomato or like the actual cheese ones, but I try not to give those to her as much because they really stink and they make her fingers stink and her like poop stink. So I'd rather just give her the ranch ones or the veggie dip ones and she really just likes all of them so it doesn't even matter for real.
Happy Mother's Day to me and all the mommies out there. Y'all look crazy. I'm about to do my hair. I knew she was going to come if I pulled the camera out. I want to act up when the camera out. Hold on. Y'all, why are we twinning with the same hair? Per. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking just a, a bun, a ponytail bun. <laughs> Girl, chill. Girl. So I'm going in with some contour, powdered contour. I don't know, I feel like it's just a little bit easier, a little bit for me. My eyes, y'all, but it's okay. I don't really have time for that, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to um finish with my face. Well, last step is going to be mascara because I don't have any lashes, unfortunately. Then I got to read through my edges because them bitches is curling up, so... Yeah, I'm about to do this. Y'all, I almost forgot my blush. Like, I've been more of like a blush girl lately. I don't know. And yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I gotta throw the shades on, y'all. I couldn't find my freaking blush palette. So, just gonna rock it with some highlighter real quick. Just real quick, real quick. I'm really sad. Oh, maybe I could use the excess blush. Let's see if it works. Something, something. Um, and then we're just gonna go in with a little highlight. This is too big of a brush for this highlight, but I'm gonna still make it work. Not this nigga using my deodorant and trying to hide it. Oh, okay. He got saved because we both have the same one. <laughs> I was about to say, ooh. I don't know, I like putting highlight in like the crevices of my eyes. I feel like it makes me my eyes pop or whatever. The last touch is my edges. I'm using Edge Booster. Y'all didn't get to do my nails. I only did my toes because literally I ran out of time. So I'm just gonna do my edges real quick. And I gotta put some uh, lip gloss on because my lips is dry. It's free. Yeah, maybe I should have did my edges before my makeup. It's cool. I could still finesse it. 
Trying to take my blessings. my blessings. They don't know the meaning of the white. Nah. You don't really live this life. No. Niggas in the hood shoot twice. <laughs> Say my niggas in the hood shoot precise. <laughs> Real wise, we ain't taking no advice. Nah. I realize that these hoes ain't right. Uh -huh. Don't even ask if they know what's the price. Right. Ain't got a snow, they already know it's white. I talk to God cause I've been baptized. baptized. I got my tied to the north side. No side. Yeah, with the spins on the nigga straight slimes. They gon' make the north side high crime. No. And I hit a lick with these niggas dropping ten. Huh? Hit a lick with these niggas dropping time. Looking on the friend, I'ma break her back in. Looking at the watch, I can't waste time. Take, take, take off. Woke up this morning, can't remember nothing. Two bitches just flowing from London. Two bitches. The thing I remember, they callin' me daddy. The mansion was covered in money. I went to sleep with 